This is a microwave from Sanusi. It's a quite old one, but uh, I'm interested in how it looks like inside. So let's take off the shell and just have a look. Let's take off the cable so that it's getting a little bit easier to turn it around. Let's take out a few more parts. Okay, so here we have a fan, we may be able to use this for something else, so this one I will definitely say. And here we have the lamp. And what you can see in here, these two parts, is uh, just a safety when, because when you open the door to the microwave, then you should not be able to start it. So um, these two are two switches that um, make the microwave aware if it's open or not. And those two I may be able to use for something else, so I, I think I want to take them out without uh, destroying them. I don't know what this is, so I should take it out and uh, have a look. I don't know what kind of sensor it is, but it's definitely some, some kind of sensor. So uh, I will uh, save this and definitely I want to know what kind of sensor it is. Just a fuse. Let's also take this card out. So as you saw here, it's high voltage. It's also a note down here. Before repairing or checking parts, discharge the high voltage capacitor. It is already discharged right now, so it's uh, no worries. But if you're going to do something like this, be sure it's dis discharged because it's really high voltage. Let's see if we can take off this front also. We should also locate the motor under here, uh, which uh, is the propulsion for the plate inside the microwave. So that one I think I want to save also. Okay, so this is under the microwave and uh, up here you see the capacitor. Which is, which is the one that uh, you really have to be careful about. Okay, so I want to save this motor. It's a synchronous motor. So I just plug it out. I want to be extra sure about this capacitor, so just for safety, I will uh, short circuit it first. 
uh, but it should uh, should not contain any power anymore. Yeah, as you see, it's no spark at all, so it's completely drained already. But I don't recommend anyone to do this because it's uh, really a high power that uh, actually could kill you if you don't know what you're doing. Here we have the capacitor. This one I definitely want to save. I may find out some nice experiment to do with this later on. This unit is the thing that actually produces the microwaves. And um, I think I want to look a little bit more into that unit, so I start with taking it off the microwave. Okay, so here it is, the actual microwave cannon, or I don't know what to call it. Maybe we can take this apart more later on, but uh, I put it down here for now. So now I have these three micro switches. I want to save them. So it was very good I could get them out without destroying them. It's a spring in this one, so I take away this button also, just in order to take the spring. I think this is the last screw, so I should take out that also. Okay, so that's it. This was uh, everything inside the Sanusi microwave. I will save a few parts of them and uh, if you are lucky I maybe do some uh, fun experiments with uh, some, uh, maybe the capacitor or the fan and um, yeah stay on my channel and you will definitely see more fun stuff.